In this video, I'm going to walk through the process of installing WSL2, the Windows subsystems for Linux version 2 on Windows 11. This installation will also work for both Windows 10 and 11. WSL2 allows you to run a Linux distribution natively on your Windows machine, opening up a world of possibilities for developers and enthusiasts alike. So let's dive right in. Before we begin, make sure your virtualization support is enabled in your system's BIOS. First, let's open PowerShell by right-clicking the Windows button, then select Terminal Admin. Next, input WSL install and wait for the installation. After it's done, we will reboot the operating system. Once Windows is booted, PowerShell will open prompting you to input your username and password. After this is done, you will have access to a full-fledged Linux terminal, but we're not done yet. Let's finish up by, with updating and upgrading the Ubuntu operating system to the latest by inputting your bash sudo apt-get updates to update your versions list of softwares and drivers. Afterwards, sudo apt-get upgrade to upgrade those selected softwares followed by sudo apt-get disk upgrade to upgrade the operating system and will end with sudo apt auto remove to remove any unnecessary packages used to upgrade the, uh, the softwares and operating system. Afterwards, let's download the Windows Terminal opening Microsoft Store. Search and download the Windows Terminal. Once installed, click the down arrow on the top of the list of tabs, select settings, then under startup options, set the default profile on Ubuntu, but with the penguin icon as there will be two Ubuntu's installed in your windows. And there you have it, you've successfully installed WSL2 on Windows. Now you can enjoy the possibility of running Linux along Windows seamlessly. If you'd like to view more content, click here. Thanks for watching and until next time.